Select the he Now bring the heavy rescue vehicle into the mission area. First click on the send icon and then right click in the All right. Well done in the heavy rescue What's vehicle. What's up? Now click on the flashing exit button in the selected heavy rescue vehicles action list. Got it. Good. To be able to put out fires, a firefighter needs to have yes. a now okay. click on the flashing fire. I'm now on it. Take a look at the burning pallet and at the objects near the blaze. All the objects you can cool or extinguish with your firefighter are highlighted. Await orders. Right click on the burning pallet. The firefighter will automatically connect his hose to a fire hydrant and start to douse the area. Yes? Await orders. Count me in. What's up? Await orders. A tip. Often cooling the objects near a fire is as important as tackling the blaze itself. This prevents the flames from spreading. Now equip another firefighter with a fire hose. Await orders. Count right me in. Right the barrels near the blazing pallet to cool them. The firefighter will then automatically perform the action. Right away. Excellent. You've put out the fire. Now get your firefighters back in the heavy rescue vehicle. Yes. An okay. Easy way to do this is to hold down the What's left up? mouse button. Yes. Good. Okay. And now right click the heavy rescue vehicle. All right. You have also selected the heavy rescue vehicle. Drag your selection box over. Perfect. By the way, there's just been a traffic accident in the mission area. You'd better familiarize yourself with the overview map in the bottom left. Your heavy rescue vehicle and the scene of the accident are both shown on your map. If you click the accident marked on the map, obviously you can move the camera around the scene yourself. Simply move the cursor to the edge of the screen and the camera will shift in the corresponding direction. Holding down the shift key will make it scroll faster. Give it a try. You haven't selected again. Okay, the driver is injured I'm and ready. trapped inside his vehicle. You'll need to free him from the wreck with the hydraulic cutters. Get your heavy rescue vehicle to the scene. Left click to select it, and then right click the highlighted area yes? to send okay. it to the accident. Send the heavy rescue vehicle to the highlighted section of the mission area. Now let's get your firefighters out and give one of them yes, the sir. all the cutters. Yes, okay, yes sir. Okay, now you can free the injured driver from the vehicle. Right click the wreckage. Understood. Great. The driver is injured and desperately needs a doctor. Bring the emergency doctor. 
All right. No problem. Good. Yes. Now select okay. the emergency doctor I'm and then right-click the injured driver. The doctor will examine the patient, make a diagnosis, and treat him. When the patient's health bar is red or partially empty, they are not fit to be transported. During treatment, their health bar will gradually fill. Only when it's completely full can the patient be taken away from the scene. Good work, the patient is now ready for transport. Get the ambulance and a team of paramedics. Okay. I'm on it. Well done. Yes. Now okay. select the paramedics and All right. click the patient. The paramedics will then take the patient to the hospital in the ambulance. Now we need to take care of the wreckage. As it is no longer roadworthy, it'll have to no be towed. No problem. Get the tow truck and tow it away from the scene. Once you have selected the tow truck, All right. a right-click on the crashed vehicle is enough to tow it away. Good work! Mission complete! Now you need to send all emergency personnel and vehicles back to base. Here, your units will be automatically repaired and restored, ready for the next yes. emergency. Yes, okay. Left-click to select an emergency team member, then right-click on the corresponding emergency yes. vehicle. Yes, okay. The team member will then I'm enter ready. the vehicle automatically. Yes? What's up? Yes, okay. Right away. Yes, okay. Okay. What's up? Right away. Wait orders. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm ready. All right. We've just received another emergency call. This time, it's a raid on a supermarket. Find the masked perpetrator and take him down. Click the flashing icon in the task list on the right to be taken straight to the scene. Okay, the culprit is marked on the map with an icon. Get to work. Send the patrol car after him. When they're near the offender, get the police officers out of yes, the car. Yes, sir. Okay. The perpetrator Await is aggressive. orders. Give the remaining police officers yes, sir. some peppers quick. Put the criminal out of action with the pepper spray. Then equip a second police officer with some handcuffs and arrest the offender. Hurry. What's up? Got it. Now subdue the criminal with Await pepper orders. spray so he can no longer right. resist arrest. Can do. Now we can arrest the offender. He can no longer resist. Excellent. Your training is complete, and you're now ready for your first job as Incident Commander. Congratulations on your promotion, and keep up the good work.